So beavers, beavers are still in the works. We, Tommy and I have been working on them for a while now. And it turns out they're a little uh, more challenging than we had thought they were going to be when we dove into this. And that's for a couple of reasons. One is that they're really quite different from all the other animals in the game. And so a lot of the AI behaviors that we have created for all the other animals don't really work so well because beavers as aquatic animals use rivers and ponds as their main avenues for travel. And that has taken some time to develop. And the other big thing is the hunting behaviors that wolves use on beavers is completely different than they use on any other animal in the game and most any other animal in real life too. And informing us, guiding us, has been recent discoveries by the Voyagers Wolf Project, which is studying wolves in northern Minnesota in Voyagers National Park. And led by Tom Gable, who is one of our advisors, they have found some amazing things about wolves. Wolves generally prey on ungulates, especially big ungulates, because they provide a lot of food for a single kill. But in some places, like northern Minnesota, it turns out that wolves eat a lot of beavers. One thing the Voyagers Wolf Project has found is that Wolves know about beaver trails. Beavers, like other animals, make trails around in their home area. You can see some here in this uh, satellite photo of a uh, corner of Slough Creek. For beavers, these trails provide a direct and easy route between the water and the wood that they use for food and for building. And so wolves have learned this and have learned to lay in wait. They'll find a beaver trail and they'll lay down there and just wait for a beaver to come along. And then they'll ambush it. And one reason this works for wolves is because beavers have a great sense of smell, but their eyesight is not so good. And so they even did this experiment where they put up this cardboard cutout of wolf, and there's great footage on uh, their YouTube channel, we'll link to it in the text, showing beavers going about their business back and forth in front of this cutout wolf, because visually it just doesn't mean anything to them. But the scent will tip them off. The Voyager's research has found that about 90% of the ambush sites that they located were downwind, so the beavers could not smell the wolf laying there. And so we've taken all these new discoveries and used them to design the new gameplay around beavers. Now, to be clear, there's no evidence that wolves prey on beavers in Yellowstone National Park because they have elk and these big ungulates running around, which provide big meals for every single kill. But there are a lot of beavers in Yellowstone, especially like along Slough Creek. So there's no evidence, but it's possible that wolves in Yellowstone have learned to hunt beavers. And so we decided to include this option in the game. So here's one of the beaver ponds. I showed uh, setting these up a few weeks ago on the dev blog. So in the vicinity of each beaver homestead, so here's a good spot for a beaver path. Here's the destination, a wood resource site. And uh, now I have a little zone of willow bushes. So I'm gonna move that over so it aligns with this wood resource site. There we go. And then I've created a path, a spline path leading from the river to this wood resource. Let me turn on gizmo so you can see it. There we go. So a little path leading from the, the beach here up to the wood resource. But you can't really see it because it doesn't affect the grass yet. So I'm going to remove the grasses along the path. There's one group of grass and here's the other group of grass. And then what I can also do is put little short stubby grasses down here and, and also some flattened grass to show that this is a path. But of course, if your computer can't run the game with a lot of grass showing, it would not be evident at all. So I'm also going to paint the terrain a little bit there with some of that kind of clay soil that will get exposed with a lot of foot traffic. So let's see the beavers in the game. As I said, they use the waterways. And so you are most likely to see them swimming upstream or downstream, heading off to collect some wood or bring in some wood back to their lodge or dam. If they're in the water, they are safe. You're not going to be able to get at them. They're faster swimmers. They can dive and quite easily elude predators. So really the only chance of uh, catching a beaver is hunting it on land. So we're creating this ambush gameplay. It's not quite a mini game, but it is very specific and tailored to beaver hunting. So this isn't finished yet, but it's shaping up. I have found this beaver trail and it's late in the day. Beavers are crepuscular, so they're most active at dawn and dusk. And in fact, there is a beaver coming up the trail here. So I come up here real quietly and uh, we have a new input. If you hold down the control key, you will go into a special mode, lying down, waiting to ambush. And this means you're lying very quietly and the beaver will come very close before. Whoa, there he goes. Oh, wait, oh. The other thing you should always check is which way the wind is blowing because I happen to be directly upwind of this beaver and he got a whiff of me. So laying quietly, downwind are the essential ingredients for a successful beaver ambush hunt. 
So he got a head start on me, but I'm still gonna try to chase him down, get closer, oh, we got a lock on, and uh, can bite him, just like you bite a coyote, but beavers fight back. <laughs> they aren't gonna take that lion down. So they got those big teeth and they're not afraid to use them. And so if you bite them, they will quite often turn around and bite you back. Now here in the gameplay, that looks a little funny because we're still working on some setup of this and getting the bite IK working and stuff like that. Here's an incredible video on YouTube. Someone actually witnessed a wolf attacking a beaver and the beaver putting up quite a struggle. We'll link to that in the text below too. It's really worth a watch. If they get close to the water, this one sort of freaked out and ran away from the water, but usually they run right into the water and get away. So that's why you want to lay quiet in ambush so they'll get as close as possible and you can get a bite in before they start making their way back to the water. This one made one that one fatal decision to run away from the water after biting me and that was the last decision he made. Okay, so we're going to try this again now, waiting for the beaver to come up now. This does take patience. And actually here we've skipped the part where you find a beaver trail and lay down and just hope that one comes along because there's a good chance one will after some minutes, um, but it's not guaranteed. The Voyager's researchers have found that wolves often wait 12 hours or more <laughs> hoping for a beaver to come along, but again, they don't always come along. And that may not be everybody's cup of tea. And in fact, we've struggled with this, trying to figure out how to design this bit of gameplay. So it abides by one of our core principles, which is trying to create gameplay systems that really do represent the actual ecological systems out there in Yellowstone. Um, but when it takes, you know, 12 hours in the real world for a wolf laying there to possibly get a beaver, obviously that's taking it too far. But we don't want to go in the other direction. And, uh, and Tommy helps keep me honest on this. And just, uh, if you're laying there, then let's just spawn a beaver at the other end of the trail. And for sure it's going to come along if you're just patient. We don't want to just jigger everything like that. So we're trying to create the gameplay where the odds are pretty good that a beaver will come along, but you'll have to be patient and sometimes you're just gonna be out of luck. So this will suit certain kinds of play styles, uh, not all, and we are still doing some tweaking and refining and figuring out a little bit more of gameplay here that we can have um, while you're anticipating that ambush. So we're still iterating on it, and so it's not ready to release yet, but we think it will be pretty soon. Beaver.